probably can. <laughs> okay, no game today for anyone because I'm already recording. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Our numbers have dwindled. There, there are not that many people here today. Well, give it a minute or two. People come late because they're like, oh, the first five minutes is just him giving somebody a game. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, show fest, five o'clock tonight. Uh, uh, here, watch this. Go there. Oh, I guess I should home. That's not an actual link, but this is, that'll get you there though. There you go. Show fest. It's show fest. Um, I would just like to point out that I am the composer and performing artist behind the Showfest theme song um, with arrangement done by Keith Zizza. Tune in for uh, the the uh, Showfest uh, anthem and stay for the uh, insightful interviews between uh, actual living, breathing game devs and uh, MQP students. So what we do, uh, so there are two components to Showfest. This is a long advertisement, but I don't care. It, it, you don't have to pay nothing except tuition, I guess, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, the uh, Showfest, there's two things. Uh, what we do every year is, um, we have a place, well, in this case, a website where you can download and play all the MQPs. Actually, not just MQPs, but any game uh, that was made this year um, that people want to share with each other. And not just games, but just cool things. There's uh, uh, animation movies. Uh, there's interactive storybooks. Um, just cool stuff that people made. You can download all of it and play it at home. You can also hang out in the IMGD Discord um, and talk to the people who made it. You don't have to talk to them about the thing they made. You could talk to them about, I don't know, Star Wars. That's what I was doing last 15 minutes talking about star wars because i tend to do that did you know that professor sutter has a full mandalorian costume i am not the only star wars geek around here it's why he and i get along um i don't have a favorite dinosaur you but at at Showfest, you could talk about your favorite dinosaur absolutely um t-rex with the little hands i guess but that's that's like easy um anyway um go to show fest oh and the other thing is that uh we have these interviews uh of actual game devs talking to actual game devs as in students who made mqps um someday if you are an IMGD student, uh, you too can be uh, interviewed as part of this and uh, get to know some game devs and maybe get a job. But there's no promises. Nobody's hiring anybody today. Um, but it should be cool, should be interesting, should be fun. Um, starts at five, goes to eight. You can pop in and out. Um, and I will be the, aside from being the 
musical accompaniment to it all. And I think you should just, you should tune in just to hear the fabulous theme song um, that uh, I will be like the behind the scenes running the stream. So fingers crossed that it goes all right because there's a lot of moving parts. Um, so, okay, so there's that. Uh, um, anything else? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I got to do this right now. I got to talk about this. Uh, assignments. Uh, ARG postmortem. Do edit. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to edit this right now. Uh, for Thursday. What's next Thursday? What's the last day of the term? The 13th. The 13th? Uh, write a postmortem for your ARG. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, and I am going to add JPEG and PNG. Okay. And it is due uh, next Thursday at midnight. Although do it, get done before midnight. So you can like, I don't know, be done. Um, save and publish. There we go. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna share this with you, share screen. Can you tell I'm a little scattered? All my uh, people graduated yesterday. So that's nice. Um, okay, so this is the postmortem. This is due last day of class, which is next Thursday. Um, uh, paper should have four sections. Four sections. You got to write a little paper, double space. Uh, what I did for the ARG, uh, what went right, what went wrong, um, and lessons learned. Uh, it should be no more than three pages long, double spaced. Um, as in, uh, just tell me, don't pad. <laughs> that should be plenty to do those four things. Okay. Just tell me. Uh, also, oh, uh, edit. Uh, oh, no, that's right. That as of May 13th at 5 p.m. Uh, well, actually, at Edit at midnight. Oh, let's, let's make it shouty. Okay, save. Uh, that as of May 13th at midnight, I will no longer accept late submissions for this or any other assignment. That is basically because I have a limited time to uh, get grades done. Um, and I would like to start uh, my summer too. So I got to get these grades done. Uh, I am still behind. We still have a bunch of grading to do for assignments that have come in. Um, your grade will include your, the work you did for your ARG. So you can include supplementary materials. Remember I said, take screenshots of stuff that you did, especially if stuff changes, right? So like, uh, I made a video. It's not posted anymore because we did this copyright strike thing or whatever. Um, uh, so um, give me links. Give me if it's, uh, but don't give me links to everything. Uh, uh, if it's a picture, print it out or not print it out, but stick it on a. a I, I've allowed you to upload JPEGs and PNGs. That the the supplementary materials do not count um, a, a, against your page thing. But then again, don't don't I don't want to see like a ten page story of the the arg or whatever. Anyway, whatever. Uh, use your best judgment. Don't kill me. I have limited time to get all this graded. Uh, then uh, I, I give you some examples of other postmortems. I'm not, I'm not even sure that that link still works, but we'll see. Um, 
so so essentially in the the other thing i want to talk about is the in the what went wrong section um this is self-reflection um more so than i want to bitch about my coworkers, <laughs> right <laughs> so uh this is not uh an opportunity to complain although um oh i got something in the chat uh oh did i did i i swore oh sorry um i apologize i'll try and keep it clean um <laughs> um but uh in general what went wrong um if you look at the professional postmortems uh there's there's a fair amount of reading between the lines that you have to do um because nobody's going to come out and say uh the guy who built the physics engine was an idiot uh who disappeared into his uh, uh office for six months at a stretch and never talked to us um nobody's going to say that uh so uh, uh be honest what went wrong and like it's quite possible that you don't know everything that went wrong. So just talk about the things in your purview that went wrong, or maybe the bigger things, you know? Um, uh, the one thing that I hear a lot in the what went wrong is we could have used better communication um, just based on how much the, the Discord is getting used. I would say that you guys, are communicating a lot or at least some of you are communicating a lot uh the other night i was here 1 1 a.m and people were like beep, 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 beep. my my uh discord was going boop 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 um and at that point i was like i don't even want to know it's 1 a.m i hope i hope nothing's on fire and no one's dying right so uh okay Questions, thoughts, problems there. Uh, canceled. <laughs> okay. <sighs> um, Ro, Ethan, you want to do anything? You want to talk? You got, you got all these people here. Use them. Hi. So, Hello. Everything Hello. for today has already gone. I can barely hear you, Ethan. Ah, okay. Um, sorry, I don't know why. All right. Um, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Everything for today has gone up, so which means we're looking towards uh, tomorrow and the future. So, from your understanding, give me a rundown of what's happening tomorrow. Uh, no, not you, Professor. I was looking towards all the teams. I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, my understanding is that um, tomorrow, Eccentric comes up and he says he found information about the uh, person or company that issued the copyright strike. And he gives the players that information and then they can navigate through the sites and the Twitter account to find hints about the second um, reagent in the ritual. Okay. Um, do we have the website and the Twitter up and running? The Twitter is up. I don't know if it's populated. Neuralia was going to um, handle that. And I think that the website is currently being built. Okay. Um, are there any tech people here that can speak to the status of the website? I know Wong was working on it, but he's not here. Yeah.
Yeah, so I saw that, Bryce. That's that's okay. All right. Um, let me see where the Twitter is. Okay, the Twitter does have tweets on it. So that's something. But we're still waiting on the website, it sounds like. Okay, um, that sounds good to me. So basically there's a website and there's a Twitter and Eccentric will let players know that, hey, I found who copyright struck my videos. Uh, here's the information, go take a look. Is that, does that sound right? Uh, yeah, that was my understanding. Okay, does that sound right to everybody else? Yeah, that sounds correct. Okay, cool. Are there any concerns about that or anything else? No. Okay. Um, moving on from that, how about the day after tomorrow, day five? What is that looking like? So that's when the players are going to be searching the uh, the Twitter account. That's uh, hopefully going to have uh, enough tweets at that point to uh, help them find out what the second reaction is. Uh, and yes, there is the, the email auto response. Oh, there's um, an email. I, I think that the message for that still needs to be updated. I can work on that. So yeah, the, the Twitter link is going to be in the email auto response, right? That was the plan. Actually, I think that the email um, auto response idea might have been changed when we decided to have a website. I would need to check with Neuralia and Wong about that. Okay. Because what I, my understanding was is that they find the email and then they'd send that and get the uh it would be like other ways to contact me and would have the twitter yeah that was my understanding too but people decided to change it last minute and i am a little confused honestly about what yeah. is going on exactly are there any tech people here that know about what the plan there is Guess not. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I am looking at the full arcs table, and there is a note about tomorrow where players had to decipher an incantation. Uh, yes. Um, is he here? Um, no, Aiden, I think, is working on that, and he said that he would have it done by tonight. Okay, and where's that going up? Is that going up on 
I, I think the plan is um, Eccentric is uploading it as a um, image of a journal entry, okay. just like with the riddle. Yeah. Okay. So um, tomorrow is Eccentric finds the website and the Twitter and then posts a journal entry. Okay. Um, uh, day five sounds like, yeah, sounds like we still don't know whether email auto response is being used. I, I don't know. I don't know who, um, who's changing things up, but. Uh, Neuralia is basically in charge of all of the stuff for the villain, but, uh, I've kind of like I haven't gotten the full gist of what the plan is from there. Okay, is Noralia here? I will find you. Doesn't look like it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to search participants, but they're not here. That's okay. Okay, um, so I guess we'll have to check in with Noralia uh, on the Discord about day five. Day six, what's going on on the final day? Oh, Noralia just joined. Hi, we were looking for you. Okay, uh, Noralia, can you can you hear me? Okay, so um, we are confused about what's happening on day five with um, email autoresponder or um, what's what's going on up with the villain and whatnot. So, what did you have in mind for what's happening on day five with the villain? Okay, well, we will wait for Neuralia. I'm looking at the full day's art table again. And on day four, there's a story beat that says on the company website, the villain is listed as having joined, striking one video and immediately resigning and is listed as an example of what not to do. I'm assuming that's still true. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming to embrace. Okay. Um, we were talking about whether or not the email auto response is being used at all. Because it sounded like either the Twitter or the website would just take the place of the email auto responder.
Where did you update that? In the args table? This is going to make for a riveting YouTube video where they can't yep. see the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put my camera on just to have something there. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess the question still being asked is, um, are we using the autoresponder? It sounds like we are. Is are people emailing the autoresponder or talking to it? Um, originally, the idea was that people would email the autoresponder to get a link to the villain's Twitter account because Eccentric would post the email, and then players would email it. But, but that was before we planned to use the website. <laughs> okay. So can you use the the email autoresponder for something else? That's kind That's of where my confusion is. Well, it, it, Neuralia is saying it could update the autoresponder. Uh, the args table pass. If you want to do it like that, that's fine. We can update the website to give the email the email autoresponder could be used for the Twitter at that point. Would make more sense because I don't think it would make sense for the company website to be advertising the Twitter of someone they fired. But if she's, or if the villain is like still on the roster, then it would make more sense to some degree. Yeah, after hearing all of this, seeing all of this, and then going through the table, it does sound like if we are using the email autoresponder, it would make the most sense for the website to go up tomorrow. Eccentric's like, hey, this is the company that like took my video down. On that website is contact info for the villain, which includes the email. And subsequently emailing that email will return an auto response that includes the Twitter. So it'd be, it, it'd be more like, instead of everything going out at once, it'd be, you go here and then you go here and then you go here. Okay. How does that sound? Because I don't know if that's what you had in mind, uh, gameplay and writers. So basically there'd be like sort of a split path where the players uh, in, a, in a sense, they could kind of, the, bo both things they could do would lead them to like the same result. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, I meant it as more of a straight path where they go to website and then to email and then to Twitter. I don't know if you meant like um, okay. things, so things go up at once and you just choose a route. No, that makes sense. My only worry there though is if there's that many steps, like why, what's the point of having the website? Like, what's that really going to tell them? That is that like just to give them the email address? Uh, what would the website be doing um, besides that? Well, like, like, Like going through um, alternative ideas, what would it what would it even be used for? Because it does it does sound like um, no matter what route we do, the website doesn't seem to have much use outside of getting like a single link. Yeah. I yeah, guess, as Nor I guess, oh, go ahead. Um, I was just gonna say, as Norelia mentioned, um, the website just uh, seems to be more of a story convenience. You know, that's just a place where you get an email. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's that would be the use for it. Um, yeah, that's the way I interpreted it. It's just a way to well, make it seem a bit more believable. Okay, and but isn't the website 
isn't any website a good place to put story stuff right the any kind i and i don't know what this website is but it seems like websites contain text and pictures and uh movie and videos and uh you could put story stuff background stuff um whatever there right so if the the whole point is just to deliver a uh a, an email address that i mean that's fine from a gameplay aspect but have the writers take a second look at it right what else what what information can we give them on the website that will enrich the story or the world do some world building does that make sense that makes mm -hmm. sense okay yeah it does so um uh, and again stop me i don't know what i'm telling you and what i'm telling 4 p.m but um if it seems like your group whether that be writers or artists or whatever uh it, if you seem done like i'm done i got nothing we we've got nothing else to do um just look at all the stuff you have out there or or that is coming out there where whatever the clue trail may may lead um and uh there's something called plussing right um and this is from imagineering actually where uh we're done yay there it is okay everybody take one last look and see if there's just an easy something that we can add that that just just gives that little extra oomph, right that little extra piece of magic um and the thing that that happens over and over again is that plus that little thing that you added at the last minute uh, just because you had uh, you had 20 minutes of time um, is is the thing that people latch on to and people remember and people get excited about. Uh, and that's because because there's good enough and then there's good, right? So and and if it's good, then there's good and there's great. So um, if you think you're done, or go look at something else that you haven't looked at in a while, right? And that's, that's a, an especially good thing is a lot of times, well, when I'm writing um, and I finish something, I put it in a drawer for a week so that I forget it. Um, and then I go back and read it. And it's like reading somebody else's work of like and, and it's much easier to see what's wrong with somebody else's work than yours um so if there's something that you haven't touched in a couple of days go back and look look at it and go oh i could fix that this is just general advice uh anything else ethan no you guys are the quietest class ever. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, more things to talk about. Uh, how's working 4 p.m.s going? Uh, it's going well so far. I think um, I, I was working with people earlier on it, and I think we got through um, today's gameplay beats at least one. Okay. So yesterday when when we left, you were expecting more stuff at like 1030 at night? Uh, yes. And did that happen? Um, we got the information about what happened at 1030 at night this morning. Okay. So um, yeah. And you were, I, there were, there were complaints of like hey if they're giving us stuff at 10 30 at night that's that sucks because that's almost midnight and then we can't do and that day's over um 
and uh, uh, yeah, it does because they were saying that uh, they're going to go do stuff. You know, it's that old "I'm driving through the desert." See you, see you the next time, right? So um, expect stuff morning afternoon right that just like i tell you um they made an announcement later saying that the info from 10 30 would be released at noon today right so i guess we just assumed that we would get the info immediately and we're wrong yeah um i asked them about it i'll just tell you i i asked them about it i'm like what the hell 10 30 at night and they're like no 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 we said the the character was doing something at 10 30 at night and that they would talk to you tomorrow about it um so uh uh that's i guess read carefully i don't know um but expect things in the morning afternoon uh noonish uh just like with you guys actually they were like hey we haven't seen anything yet and i'm like well they were kind of thinking five-ish after school is out and they're like we'd really like to have it earlier if we can um so uh uh and i i told them because i know i'm not gonna see you until three o'clock today that even if that i can't tell well i could have gone on the discord and told you but whatever um uh that come the weekend you'll you'll be getting stuff out earlier in the day hopefully um, so please get things out earlier in the day um, so that they have uh, time. Uh, also, uh, the question came up it, is like, how long does it take you to, to, to do this stuff? And, I, and I'm curious, is it taking a long time? Are they, they inundating you with puzzles um, that are, are, taking up your life uh do you mean 4 p.m zard yeah um i i think that we had today's puzzle solved in like an hour maybe maybe it was a little more than that okay yeah a little over an hour okay um is that do, do you feel good about that or uh uh yeah, we, we got an indication that we solved it correctly and should wait for more information. Okay. Do you feel like you should have more entertainment value or what have you? You, you know what I mean? Like uh, uh, when you bu buzz through a video game and it took you two hours and you paid 60 bucks for it and you're like, dude, I paid 60 bucks for this. The hell? No, um, not particularly because, like, I know more is coming, also. So. Okay, yeah, I do think we went through it maybe a, a tiny bit quicker than in like planned, but we also we we figured out the first puzzle in like less than 10 minutes, yeah. So, I don't know what the, the ideal length was. Though. Well, I don't know, I, I mean, yeah. essentially, it's this is what's really, really hard about these kind of things is because you think it's too easy and then it, everybody stalls on it and, and nobody can figure it out. Or you think this one's, this one's going to just stump them and they, they buzz through it in 10 minutes. So uh, it's very difficult to judge how hard is a puzzle. I mean, there, there are ways, um, uh, and that's like with escape rooms where you have a time limit and you have one hour to do it. You know how, well, the only way people get through an escape room in an hour is uh, with the guide giving hints. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all geniuses. You do it without hints. Um, <laughs> but uh, the that's the cheat of people can get through this in 60 minutes well guess what if you're you're stalled for 20 minutes on on puzzle number one the person who's watching you is going to help you because 
if you have a terrible experience doing it, you're never going to come back and do it again. Right. Um, yeah, no hints, no hints. Um, I, I want to, in the seven minutes I have, unless anything else, Ethan Rowe. Nothing on my end. Okay. Um, so uh, there was a game called Majestic. Uh, this And this is 2004, I want to say, maybe 2002. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can look that up. Majestic game. Uh, Majestic was 2001, sorry. Um, and its tagline was the game that plays you, right? Um, and it was published by EA. Uh, and this was going to be where ARGs go mainstream. That uh, 2001 was the era of um, EverQuest. And suddenly the EverQuest people were making money hand over fifth, fist with a, a monthly subscription. And EA wanted a piece of that. So here we go. We're going to do one of these ARG thingies, uh, a web of espionage and intrigue. Um, and uh, uh, you're going to pay us 10 bucks a month for it. Woohoo! Right? Um, and uh, you, but you still had to go to a store and buy a $60 box with discs in it, with a CD that you put in your, your computer drive. Um, and then you had to say, I am willing to get, uh, to play this via, um, yeah, Final 14, uh, uh, FF14, is it 14? 14, yeah. Um, uh, I am going, I send me emails, call me, fax me, 2001. Um, what is your aim ID? Right? Um, yeah, good old aim. Um, I think that was it. It was aim and fax and phone and email. Um, and the more you put in, the richer your experience would be, right? Because um, you're going to pay. This was before WoW came along and upped it to 15 bucks a month. Um, all the MMOs were 10 bucks a month. Um, so uh, you sign up for Majestic and uh, you pay your 10 bucks and it was it it started on a tuesday and they gave you they gave it was a whole thing where essentially uh uh the they were getting ready the the developers of uh majestic were welcoming you to the big grand opening of majestic and then uh just as majestic they were supposed to push the button to deploy majestic a swat team attacked the the majestic software developers headquarters and killed everyone except for this one guy uh who is now using majestic the the infrastructure they've built up around the game that they have not employed in order to communicate with the fan base of majestic about maybe in making up a, a conspiracy based um, uh, game they have hit on an actual conspiracy and they they're they're revealing a real thing that they thought were they were making up and everybody's dead but this one guy and the thing was they it soon became clear that they released new content every Tuesday at 10 a.m something like that. Um, and essentially, they, the players buzzed through it all in an hour or two. 
And then it, instead of waiting a day, you had to wait a week, right? So uh, immediately players being players, they started complaining, hey, I paid for, I paid to play this $10 for a month and you're giving me uh, two hours every Tuesday for a month. So I thought I could play it round the clock for a month for 10 bucks. And you're, I get eight hours of play for four Tuesdays in a month, two hours every Tuesday, and I'm done. That's less than a day's. Is this a video game? What the hell is this? Right. So, uh, so first set of um, disgruntled players, because you know, video game players are so level headed and nice to each other. Um, and then second month rolled around, right? And new people signed up, new people bought their the game in the second month and paid their ten dollars for month two. And guess what? They got all of months one content for free, right? So then other the people who were in month one were like, well, they got the, I'm paying $20 for two months of content, but really eight hours of content. They're getting 16 hours of content for $10. I got, I'm getting 16 hours of content for $20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel my subscription, wait six months, re resubscribe at the six month thing get all six months worth of content play it cancel again right this is unsustainable for the company uh by by i think the six month when when did it get canceled uh it did not fare well commercially <laughs> that's what wikipedia says debuted on july 31st and uh, when was it canceled? Come on. The game took place in real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Wikipedia, help me out. I was within six months, a year that they canceled it. Uh, most innovative game of the year, Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, so, well, they canceled it. Um, and then they ran up against, um, hey, I sent you money for a year's subscription in advance, and six months in, I, I got nothing for my other six months. Uh, so they, they put out, like, everything they had made. Oh, oh and the other thing, oh, I'm over time, but whatever. Um, the other thing they did, the beta testers um, were, they, they went to all the people who had played the, the AI game that I told you about, the Spielberg game. And they said, hey, you want to come beta test our game, right? And the beta testers were ARG heads. And uh, they, were get, they got like the drop of content and then there was nothing. So they started making up their own characters and making their own puzzles and serving them up between themselves. Uh, and so they had all these like secondary characters on top of the EA characters. And then when, when the game went live, the, and, and EA started getting all these complaints about the there's no character there's no content they went to their beta testers and said could you release all that stuff you made during the beta and so they they had unpaid workers making content for a commercial game uh that once it was canceled 
those people then went, hey, um, our part of the Majestic was better than EA's. And they got together and made another ARG <laughs> that they charged people. Uh, actually, I think it was free. Um, and uh, uh, what was that? It was Cortex something. It was Neo Cortex, I think it was called. Anyway, so um, just think about that. The just by releasing every week on a Tuesday, they trained their people, their their players, to just ignore the thing until Tuesdays and then grab it. Um, the problem with ARGs is that once one person solves it, it's solved for everyone because they share. Um, but that's not a problem. That's an advantage because you're essentially crowdsourcing puzzles right? And they, they help each other. You build a community, you talk to each other. Um, but it's very hard to gauge whether things are too easy or too hard. Too easy is probably better than too hard. Um, an hour of work at this for you guys, especially during finals week, it's, it's probably okay. You know, I, I don't want you to have to grind uh, grind through 15 puzzles in a day just to get, uh, could you wait now uh, till tomorrow? Um, an hour, maybe two, and, and you're good. This is kind of a casual game. It's not, and I don't want to make casual game sound like, a bad thing this is the kind of thing it is you tune in you tune out you you play for a while you solve a puzzle you get your little dopamine you come you talk with other people who are working with it with the next thing and they get a wild idea um but maybe a suggestion you made helps and everybody everybody has a good time that's the the main thing everybody has a good time uh okay so it's 3.55. I've gone over. Um, I'm going to stop the recording and I will see you on various discords over the weekend uh, and talk to you in class on Monday.